Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship, and this week I'm going to show you how to set up sidechain compression on your background music. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. So what does that even mean? Well, basically we're gonna set up automatic volume reduction. Um, it's going to be triggered by our speaking microphones. So I'll give you a classic example. Maybe your church is doing a Valentine's Day banquet and you have people having dinner. There's some romantic music playing in the background. Um, and uh, periodically throughout the night, someone's gonna come up and do like a raffle and announcements and that kind of stuff. And when they see, uh, speak in their microphones, you want the volume of that background music to drop, not completely out, but just lower while they're talking. And when they're done talking, it comes back in and you want that to happen automatically because you don't have someone that can run the board the whole time. Uh, so that's what we're going to set up today. And what we're going to do is we're going to do that on the Behringer Wing. Uh, we have one here that we'll be playing with. You can do this on a bunch of digital mixers these days, but the Wing is just so much fun, and we have one here, so that's what we're going to use. So we are currently looking at the Wing Edit app. I'm connected to a Behringer Wing here, um, but the Edit app is going to be a little bit easier for you to see. I've made a user page where we have um, some different channels we're going to work with. So we have three speaking microphones, MC1, which is what I'm talking through right now, MC2, and a headset. And then we have three playback devices, so a computer, an aux cable for background music. And what we're going to use today is we're just going to play pink noise through the oscillator. Now, because we have multiple channels, multiple speaking microphones affecting other multiple channels, multiple uh, playback devices, we are going to group those together using two buses. Uh, two buses. So we have bus 12 and bus 13. Those happen to be open. I have initialized them and put them here for us to see. Um, so let's get started with bus 12 here. We are going to label that playbacks or whatever you want to call it. Bus 13, we are going to call PB sidechain or whatever you want to call that. Um, let's go to our playback bus and we are going to go to on your screen at the very top left. The second down um, button here is going to be your bus mode area. We're going to change that to a subgroup. If you're on the latest version of the Wing software, or Wing firmware, um, it's probably going to ask you if you want to um, turn everything off going to it. Um, I would say go ahead and hit yes on that. Um, real simple. Uh, and then we're going to go down to the very bottom here, uh, or sorry, second from the bottom, uh, and just verify real quick that going to your main mix one or whatever you're using for your wing setup, for me, is the rock mix, main mix one. We have it set to 0, 0.0, we have it on, and then our fader level is set to 0, 0.0. So this is just acting as another layer of processing. We don't want it to be adding or subtracting volume. It's just going to pass through. So once you've done all that, move on to the playback sidechain bus. Very similar. We are going to go to the second from the top button and we're going to set that to subgroup. Again, hit yes. And then we don't actually need to bother with where it's going. We actually don't want this going anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this bus and I'm going to turn the fader all the way down so I can't accidentally do something with it that I don't mean to do. Once you set up your buses, we are now going to go and route our channels to those buses. Um, so with our playback channels, we're going to select the computer here. Uh, and we are going to go to the bottom button where our bus sends are and just make sure that these three channels have the on button pressed on going to the playback uh, bus here. So computer on, the aux is on. The oscillator is on. And then very importantly, we are going to also go down to the second from the bottom button and take those out of our main mix one. Otherwise, you're going to get a doubling in sound. We just want these going to the playback bus. Playback bus is then going to go to our main mix. So they're still getting the main mix. They're just going through the playback bus first. Uh, for our MC, MC2, and headset channels, our, our speaking microphones, um, similar, we are going to go to our, our very bottom uh, button here and send those to our playback sidechain bus here. So MC1, MC2, and headset. 
And we don't need to bother about where they're going to uh, main mix one because, again, that's already set. All we're doing is just sending these so that we can use them for compression. Okay, now that all that is set, we're going to go back to our playback bus um, and look at our compression settings on here. Uh, now, earlier I talked about how we're using two buses, uh, two buses, uh, to set this up. There are two reasons why we did that. One, as I mentioned earlier, we are grouping together our playback channels, and then we're also grouping together the sidechain channels that will be uh, influencing the compression on that playback bus. But also, too, on the wing in particular, uh, there are two types of input channels on the wing. Uh, channels 1 through 40 give you full processing, and they give you compression with sidechain chain options and all kinds of other stuff going on. Um, but we are using uh, the aux channels, aux one through eight, for our playback channels because they actually have a little bit less processing. They do have a compressor, they do have a gate, but they're very, very simple and they do not allow for side chain compression. However, the bus channels do. So by sending those playback channels to a bus, not only can we group more than one of them together, but also it gives us all these options that we have for our side chain compression. With that in mind, so we are looking at the compressor for the playback bus. We're gonna turn it on. Um, on my screen right now, it's kind of in the middle. It says key source self. Uh, if you're looking on the wing, it will be in the top right hand corner. That's the most important thing. You're going to change that from self, meaning listening to the playback channels, um, to listening to my voice, which is gonna be coming through our PB sidechain bus. So we're gonna go and find bus 13 in this case, PB sidechain. And you can now see we have level showing up on our meter here because my voice is going to that bus and this compressor is listening to that bus. All right, now that we have that going, um, we're going to adjust our detector settings. Uh, this is going to determine uh, how the time functions work with our compression. Uh, so I like to turn the peak um, or detector from RMS to peak. And then very importantly, the auto envelope is gonna default to on. You're gonna turn that to off. You'll notice that now we have control over our time settings. Um, so our tack, hold, and release. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna make this very obvious, but you can kind of play with this to your needs. Uh, but we're gonna make the attack very fast. We're gonna do about one millisecond. There we go. Hold, we're gonna max out at 200 milliseconds. And then release, for today's video, we're gonna do that at about two seconds or 2,000 milliseconds, more or less. Cool. All right, and you can see over here, if I lower down my threshold, I'm getting gain reduction. Now, we're not hearing it yet because we're not listening to our oscillator. Um, but you can see our gain reduction meter is going. And then when I stop talking over a little bit of more than two seconds, it fades back in. So let's take our threshold up. Um, we're going to demonstrate this. I'm going to play the oscillator so we can hear some paint noise. Uh, I'll start talking. I will lower down the threshold. You will see and hear gain reduction uh, begin. Uh, I will try kind of leaving a little bit of gap between sentences, and then I'll also do like a full-on stop, and you'll hear uh, how that uh, time function is going to affect that. All right, so here we go. So right now I'm talking and you're hearing me, but the oscillator is very, very loud. As I lower this down, you can hear me a lot more clearly. And I'm again doing this very extreme for the purposes of example. Uh, but you can hear it as I take a breath and kind of wait between uh, sentences, it comes up a little bit, but it's not full blast coming back. Uh, however, if I take a longer break, you can see that we're getting uh, our volume back on our oscillator. There you have it. All right, that's how you set up sidechain compression on your background music. I hope this was helpful to someone out there. Until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.